Hello! <laughs> it's been a while. I'm about to upload the fourth tablet of the Epic of Gilgamesh. I'm really excited to be reading that right now. Uh, but to begin, I thought I would make a video for a different playlist, the meditation playlist. Um, because, well, because I think the Epic of Gilgamesh is a religious text and it should be treated religiously. Um, that doesn't mean I should prescribe to the cultural practices that are described in the Epic of Gilgamesh. Uh, you know, certainly not <laughs> the patriarchy and the sexual violence and the environmental destruction and all of these terrible things. But just because a text has those terrible things in it doesn't mean that it isn't valuable, doesn't mean that there isn't a lot of wisdom to be gleaned from it if you know the right place to look and doesn't mean that it should be approached academically. You know, it's very easy to tear these texts apart uh, and, and do a comparative anatomy and, and come up with some sort of academic theory. And that's all very valuable. It's important stuff to do that because we need to understand what these texts are, not, not just from within the culture, but from, out, with, from outside their own culture. Word flip up. Um, that's all very important, but I think it's also essential to approach these texts religiously, treat them with the kind of reverence that they deserve, not that they deserve it in and of themselves, but because these texts are specialized in producing the feeling of reverence. And that should be a feeling that we pursue, and these are tools to pursue that feeling, to understand what it means to be human, as in to be all humanity. You know, what is, what is our collective history tell us? What does our collective knowledge tell us? It's not even knowledge, it's just a collective set of symbols that can guide us living through our life. Doesn't mean dictate our life, but guides us. And so that was a preamble, rambly preamble. So I want to meditate. I want to meditate for a couple of minutes before reading the Epic of Gilgamesh, Tablet 4, because I think it's important to put myself in a numinous headspace before I engage in, in this task of epic storytelling and collective remembering. Okay, so for this meditation, like all the other meditations, you're going to sit up straight and um, focus on something small, something physical. Maybe it's the feeling of your lips, or the feeling of your fingertips touching, or the feeling of your hands on your knees, or a spot between your eye. That's a real hippy-dippy one. Or, you know, probably most, the most effective one because it's dynamic. Let's focus on your breath, right? And... You know, breathing is an incredibly complicated task that you do literally without even thinking about it. You know, ancient animals would breathe through their skin, so it was a purely cellular task. Each cell would breathe, regulating its oxygen and carbon dioxide levels through a semi-permeable membrane. But then us multicellular creatures evolved land living multicellular creatures evolved who had to interface with the air instead of the sea and in order to get oxygen to that whole body we need special tools lungs a heart veins arteries nose mouth throat circulatory system <laughs> it's quite a system and there's muscles down here which can expand and contract and that creates suction in your chest and then the air flows through these tubes into your lungs where it you know, ramifies out into this infinite passageway of cell vessels and then diffuses from, from the lungs into the veins and then your heart pumps them all throughout your body just infinite fractal branching like this it's a pretty crazy thing 
happens every single moment. So, uh, think about that. <laughs> this is supposed to be me meditating and I'm just talking. Clearly I like the sound of my own voice. Wow, look at me with the big ego. Okay, well anyway. Focus on breathing. Think about how incredibly complicated it is. And all of the trillions and trillions of activities that go into a breath. And um, just breathe and watch that dynamic pattern unfolding. And if you find yourself thinking about something other than breathing, then notice that. Oh, look, I'm not thinking about breathing anymore. And then you can make a decision. You say, hey, do I want to think about breathing now? Or do I want to think about this thing? And you make that decision. Let the path, path fork. If the thing's important, you should probably think about it. You know? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be one to say you should you know, try to control your thoughts. If the thing's important, go think about it. It's important. But make the decision to think about it. Decide, okay, I'm going to think about this thing now. And you're going to think about it until it's done. And then when it's done, you're going to stop. And then you're going to return to the breath, right? And then you breathe. And just focus on the breath. Now, I'll actually be silent for about five minutes.
Okay. <laughs> now on to tablet four of the Epic of Gilgamesh. I hope you'll join me.